Hello guys, in this video we will talk about encapsulation. So first we understand is what is the encapsulation. So it's a way to restrict the uh, direct access to some component of an object. Uh, so it's having the modifier, three modifier, public, protected and private. So uh, we have to understand for, uh, one by one, public, protected and private. So in case of public, when we use the public, everywhere we can access this okay and when we uh, use the protected we can access the uh, in, uh, uh, child class but when we are using the uh, private we cannot uh, inherit the uh, uh, we cannot use the uh, uh, property in a uh, child class uh, to access this uh, we uh, we have to define the some public uh, function and then we have to call that function then we you can use this so we will see the uh, in a one by one in by using code so you understand better way okay so uh, let's just start so first we have to define a class class uh, name any name class a we always take class a now we have to define a uh, one method so I am taking here any method function. Function get data. A. We are taking here A. Okay. Now echo. Uh, echo take here any uh, public uh, public uh, variable any name uh, dollar num take any value uh, I'm taking here uh, 20 20 okay now call this for uh, num so we simply use the this to call Okay, we are using to access this, we using in PHP, uh, this uh, keyword. So you have to use this and simple. Now, this is the single class. We uh, we are not uh, uh, making here a multiple class. First, we understand uh, uh, all modifier by using one class. And then we uh, use the uh, multiple class. And then we check how we uh, uh, use in a uh, child class of these modifiers. So first, we uh, understand in uh, this modifier uh, within a one, one class only okay so here is the public and uh, here we use a public function now we have to make a object okay so we simple go to here and make object object new and uh, class a and uh, then call to get data function call to get object and call get data get data a k and uh, yes now we run this okay so when we run this uh okay so we uh, get the output 20 okay why we get this because here we are defining our num is equal to 20. So we simply uh, create an object class A and call to get data method. So we simply get the uh, output. Okay, now if I use here a protected, protected, and function is public, then we see the output. So here you can see this output 20. Why? Because function is public. And when we use here a protected protected now function is uh, protected so here as you can see here uh, this is uh, giving a error why we cannot access directly this is the uh, because this function is protected so when like um, simply compile this so we uh, we are uh, facing error vital error and called call to protected method class get data Okay, so we cannot uh, uh, access this directly. So how we access this? Here is question arise. 
so for this we have to make a public function and uh, instead of this uh, calling this function we we call that uh, uh, function how let's simple define public function and any function name get data get data b and uh, now now echo dollar this dollar this and uh, call to function call num we are accessing here num value so here is the here is protected but we are defined here a public function now we are call to get data b okay now we run this okay so we get the output 20 so if we are uh, use the uh, protected then we we have to define a, another uh, method and then we have to create a object and call that uh, method so we have we can access that uh, okay similarly you cannot uh, access private uh, private uh, variable if i use here a private like uh, private and here i'm use the private okay and i'm go to here uh, comment this and call to get data a so here it's giving the error because this is the you know that uh, private so we cannot access this so let's uh, make this uh, public and call this to b data okay b get data b method now save this and call this so as we uh, as you can see this this is the output is comes 20 so when we are using the private and uh, you are uh, protected we cannot uh, call to directly we have to define a public function in uh, any other uh, method and call that method similarly similarly we have to use uh, in a child class like i'm making here uh, another class class p class p and uh, extend this k and i read this and class a and now similarly i'm going to comment this first uh, um, public this we all see in child class and all modifier so first time using here public then we see protected and then we see our uh, uh, private so now now i'm going to here and uh, simply make uh, any public function any public method of function and uh, get uh, get data c k and uh, echo uh, i need a value of num so i'm um, simply call to, to use dollar dollar this and then call to uh get data a get data a get data a okay so now i call to get data c and class b changer okay because we are in error this and i want to uh uh, value uh, patch the value of num and in child class too okay so we simple uh, make the another method and call to this uh, method now we call this so call this so we got the output okay so so simply meaning when we use the public we can inherit uh, the property of one class to another class okay now when we use the protected like suppose I'm using here a protected. Okay. If we are using protected and function is public, 
where evil is uh, protected but function is public so here is the public num so when we call to get data a it's a public so we can directly access okay that's the output 20 but if we if we write here a, a protected function protected 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 from the now now both are protected num and the get data method also so when we call this call this a call this why we are get this this is the public okay so this is the public so when we are inherit this we call we can call this uh, uh, by using this we use here protected so this is the given the uh, uh, error we cannot uh, inherit this like this so we have to simply define here a public uh, method public then we can access this okay and similarly if we use here a protected protect sorry private 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 and now i want to access uh this so we cannot access if we if we are use a private uh, oh sorry public and uh, protected we can inherit the uh, uh, property one class into another class but when we are used private we cannot inherit uh, uh the property is uh, class a in class b okay we need to uh for this solution we need to define a one public function okay like i'm calling here like we got the error okay private matter class some scope of class b so we have to uh define a one public function and by using that we can access this we define here a public function get data b now i call to this uh method because this method is a public so we can access this okay this is the private and this is the public so this is the same uh, this this method it comes in the same class now now it's a num your your num is a public when you call to get data p we can access this so in private case we inherit or uh, inherit okay okay so as you can see the output 20 comes so like this we use the uh, public private protected and private so when we use the um, public and protected we can inherit uh, we can use the uh, your uh, child class but when we use the private it's a uh, um, we have to define a public uh, another method then we call that method and uh, fetch that data so like this we use the your uh, public private and protected so this is the encapsulation uh, okay so uh, you you have to understand the um, all modifier and uh, so how we use the you know, same class and, uh, and then how we use you know uh, a child class so i hope you like the video if you like the video like share and subscribe channel thanks for watching the video